God of justice and peace. We just ask that you come in a very special way in our chaotic world. And especially be present as we gather here. Help us to truly bring peace where there is a lack of peace. Bring calmness where there might be chaos. And we ask especially that as we serve as servants, that we use you as our model, that all of our deliberations and all of our time together will truly plan for the common good, give us the strength we need to make the decisions that are for the good of all, remove all prejudice, remove all discord, and especially bring peace into the heart of each of us. To this prayer and to every prayer we say, Amen. Okay, I'll need to order. Are there any additions to the agenda? Call for you. One addition, um, the uh, beautification of uh, 4th Street entrance. The old business thing? Uh, yeah, we'll just put it in old business anyway. Okay, I'll be 4th. Okay, fire department. 
department. I do not see Chief Sanders. Chief Sailor? With the exception of stickers and a couple of small lights, the truck is done. We got it on the road. Yeah, I just wanted to find out where, what we were going to do. Are we, we're waiting on the um, just the policies uh, to be digitized, correct? Yeah. So I'd like to find out. I mean, once we get that done, I'd like for us to start discussing a, the possibility of a fourth officer. So. Do we want to put it on the agenda for the first meeting in October? Why don't we go ahead and do that? Okay. First meeting. to the uh, nitrate removal plant and just give you a little background on how this came about is that the when the plant was put in uh, the zoning is fine for where it's at I mean it's when Victory Foster I was working with him and we were redoing the zoning I remember him saying that you know sometimes you don't have a choice where you put something like a, a water tower or a water plant or even sometimes a sewer plant you know he used the, the illustration the wind may blow from the south and, and the drainage is, is, is to the south, so that's where you have to put the plant. But I had that in my mind and the zoning is fine. The only thing that I omitted as far as when the uh, plant was to be built, it actually should have had a special use gone through. We're, we're fine. I talked to him. All we have to do is have a motion from the council to uh, apply. It'll have to be through the city clerk. I, we can't do that. It'll be She'll have to go to the, the process of making the application. So, need a motion to for the city clerk to apply a, for a special use. Is all it is. And what the special use? I don't know. If you remember in the past we've had things come before the council, uh, like Marshall Sanders Tire Shop, uh, you know, a fence for his tires and, and you know things like that. So, what we may end up doing, and it's already been discussed. Kevin and I already talked about, you know either landscape screening or maybe a fence between the two properties and we can get if that if it comes to that all the property owners within 200 feet will be notified as you know the, the plan is called for is that if we have a request for a a fence or some type of a, a uh, division there between our property and any other residences along there that 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 will be considered and it can be done as part of this project so as part of the work so it could have been done in the first place you know the fence or whatever but uh, like I say, it's on. It was. I had it in my mind we had an exemption, and the way they had this listed, and, and it's, it's all my fault. It's just they talk about special uses, they talk about public buildings, but they don't talk about water plants or anything like that. But the next page, and they go to the public again, and I, and I just 
had in my mind we didn't need to consider all that my mistake, I'm sorry. But we can we can correct this. And that process is that we after I would apply for it and then um, we would notify everybody within two hundred feet, we put a hearing notice in the paper. You guys usually get a letter from the cabinet of those hearings in anyway.
is from the south. I know it's quite a bit of money, but I think in the long run it's going to be to the city's advantage. So what do you think? City code offers quite a bit. I think mean, it offers something just like something that would be really easy to navigate for just the average citizen who just is not all that familiar with uh, any type of web surfing or anything. I think it would uh, be to our benefit and to the community's benefit. They're not going to put any other code in into it, right? right. No, they will update the code that we have with all the ordinances that have been passed to date. And then, yeah, and that's been since 2006. So there's 66 ordinances, I think. But no. they're all things that have been approved by council. Right. They won't add anything. They won't add anything. No. No. But they will look and make sure that we don't have anything, I think that was in here, um, that is... They, they review it to make sure that we haven't passed something that doesn't go with state statutes. You know, they do some legal checking just to make sure that if something is changed and we haven't gotten it changed, that maybe they can let us know that. I mean, it'll come back to the table. You guys would have to approve the final code. You know, they're not just going to do it and say, here it is. Um, well, you would have to approve it. start their process of checking whether it's in compliance with state you know I don't know exactly how theirs would uh -oh. what their process would be in here it does give a lot of uh, did I give you the whole yeah 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 um, it kind of explains what they're what they will be doing mm -hmm. I don't know their timeline process okay yeah I was, I was kind of curious about I didn't think it would be that but uh, I figured it'd be a few days but at least we have it up I would say, it would, um, you know, I don't know if they have some in line ahead of us, you know, I don't right. know what, you know, and it, they don't say that in here, and I didn't ask, so um, I think they're <laughs> more likely to get it done way before the police want to. <laughs> what is the expense if we would change the code that they're going to charge you As long as we do okay. the, the annual 750, that takes care of it all. Well, it's going to cost 750 dollars so, Yeah. And to have the website. Flat fee for startup fee. It's a $50 thing. The rest of the computer world. I wouldn't mind tabling at one more meeting. But I'm not against it at all. I'd say to table it. Um, the only other thing I have is um, the deadline for early registration for the league conference is the 27th, which is a week from Friday. Um, and that will get us in at the um, lesser amount. And any registration after that, there's a cost of Anybody interested at all? Let's start. No, it's in Overlook Park. It is the 
October 12th through the 14th. I already sent him
but that's kind of them whatever they want to put in. Um, you know, we have we're, there are limits, and it's, it's common sense that you know we'll serve ice cream, you know, while kids are on stage, or you know, that sort of thing. And even when there's parties, we ask them not to do cherry Kool-Aid maybe lemonade instead to save the carpets a little bit. Um, we suggest things like rice crispy treats over cupcakes, but you know. Beef jerky and water. <laughs> <laughs> Most kids would love that too. Yeah. <laughs> be a lot of your own children. Yeah.
are they going to pay for advertisement, or the city's going to pay for putting their sign up, or I guess that's what well, I talked with uh, I talked with uh, Bill over at the um, lumberyard, and he said he would be happy to donate some wood materials. Um, it was also suggested um, a while back that maybe Joe Miller's um, class over at the high school could possibly help out with this, make this kind of like a community project. If people, if people wanted to put their business name up there, then they would donate some money to cover the materials for that. I mean, it would be a big thing to, to do. I think it would be a nice thing to do for the community and get the school involved. The only thing we may have to do is get far enough off the highway that we don't have to be able to stay on. Right. You can have on the big, so. Yeah, I'd like to say that that's, that was to my question, sure. is if, it, if people are going to pay for this, or I mean, if you say you're going to list every business in town, for people to be able to read it, it's going to have to be a fairly large sum. So that's, that's that needs to be determined how that's going to be. I think you better look into the zoning rules first. Yeah. An awful lot of rules. Uh, we don't want it to be so big that it's friggin' ugly. <laughs> <laughs> or so, so small that nobody has to take a magnifying glass. Well, and when so. you're driving by on the highway, yeah, you absolutely. Know, it's, it makes a big difference. A, a five inch letter is not even something yeah. to read. Yeah. Where in the north is, is that city property? As far as uh, where, where it sits, I think actually that is uh, the, I think it's out of, out of, it's on the city right away. It's a state deal, I think I'd have to look on where those markers are, but it quite possibly, if I remember right there, if I thought too, there's a marker there and there at Ives, but then it comes back to the west of way, so I'd have to look and make sure on that. I, I, that was probably all worked out a few years ago when they I, I question whether we'll be able to put something right there with that as far as the site might say. If, you want, if your, your purpose is to lure people off the highway, that's... That's, that's three miles issue. away from town. Yeah, I mean, that's, you're, you're going to have to have that Stop. farther down 4th yeah. Street, and if you want to catch I think we're really going to get into the deal with the state and try and put something out there for business. I know that the... I call them the St. John signs there up north and south. We, we cannot do anything as far as drawing attention to a business or anything that's not allowed in those signs. So simply because they're right off the highway, right? Even if they're on private property. So it's something we really have to look That's at. why you see those great big huge signs that are set back yeah. into a field yeah. and stuff, you yeah, know? Right. Because So moved. 